Redneck drive shaft shortening 101. Let's chop her. Here we go. Done. Well, it looks like I can insert one piece, because it was a step diameter, into the other piece, center it and weld it. It's that simple, I don't have to cut the welds off here and reattach it at the yoke. I love it, zero cost. Do you want to see how I make a redneck drive shaft joint? Tools don't interest me, Dave. Tools don't interest you, alright. Well anyways, you wrap some tape around it because it wasn't an exact fit into the drive shaft, it was loose. So when you wrap tape, it fits beautiful, it's nice and centered. Ugh. So then you slip it in till the line you drew on it lines up. Then you center it again and tack weld it. And then you weld it all the way around and you've got a almost perfectly balanced redneck drive shaft repair and shortening for free. Well now I've got some little spot welds to concentrically center my two drive shaft pieces for the final weld. For the beast. <laughs> weld is all done. We're ready for installation. This is going to be our first test drive on Saturday evening just after Halloween. We already got half of the white walls on. We're running it with no manifolds, no exhaust whatsoever, just straight out of the head. Frames welded enough, drive shaft shortened, seats aren't attached. I want to get an idea how fast it is. We even got an emergency light in case there's trouble. Okay, she's all yours. Start taping now. First start since uh, we uh, put her all back But remember the seat's not attached so hang tight on the steering wheel. Yep. First test drive, guinea pigs. Hey, no bumps, stay on the laneway.
he rides off into the sunset. Cold November night. He's flying. We haven't got our front end put together yet. Scary! Scary, eh? Is it real, real fast? 